Hello, this is Dave at AFX Search Licensed Investigators. A lot of times the cases we get into have to do with some type of fraud or theft, uh, personal information recovery, identity theft of an individual or most likely a corporation. A lot of times this comes from some cybersecurity vulnerability where there was an access or data breach of a company or a person of their information. A very common source for that is through an internet router. You probably have a router or a device looks something like this in your home or business. It serves the web pages that you look at, including this one that you're looking at right here, uh, to your computer. It allows your computer and your network to get out into the internet and navigate all the other web pages that are out there, eBay, Amazon, YouTube, whatever the case may be. The problem is that router also allows traffic to come into your computer. Now, every time you go to a web page, that web page is feeding information into the computer that you're watching this video on. Uh, there are safeguards to keep that information from only coming in based on requests that go out. However, there's many ways that a hacker or a thief can use vulnerabilities in your router to get into your computer. Now, there are many open ports even with LAN security and the password that you probably set up for your Wi-Fi that a hacker can get into. Those uh, passwords block only certain channels of that router. They're open channels that may not have a password. DNS, SMB, Samba, shared server. There's many other uh, ports in that router that can be used to get inside your computer. And think about it. Imagine all the documents pictures, photos, records that are sitting on the hard drive of your computer and all the computers in your network and if somebody was out in the public accessing those documents what type of damage uh, could your company or individual family incur? Uh, this happens quite often. Uh, a lot of times there are uh, known vulnerabilities and known weaknesses in routers. Every brand has had this happen to them. Netgear, Linksys, all the major router manufacturers um, have had vulnerabilities that have been built into their uh, platforms, into their hardware. There may be conditions which trigger these open ports uh, and give root access to that router so that way the outside hacker can get access to any computer in your network, all of your email transactions, and even the logins for other uh, uh, password um, required websites, banking information, database information. Uh, the main thing is to protect yourself, don't use that router as your only firewall. Don't make that the only block from the outside world to your household or your business. Uh, have firewall software on your computers. Maybe have a second firewall that doesn't do any routing. It just is a firewall on and off. Um, make sure you also do the firmware updates on that router. Every manufacturer, once they discover a vulnerability or a threat, they send out a firmware patch to that router and make sure you update those. Also be careful about adding USB storage devices to your computer. Those a lot of times will trigger some of these open ports from allowing access to get in. If you do have a problem or have issues, you can reach us at our website, afxsearch.com. We do investigations of these type of threats all the time and we'd be glad to help.